about a month break after playing the first three matches in the uh, Academy League season this summer. Uh, coming back to City Stadium for only the second home game uh, for the Academy League. What do you, how was training this week? I, I know there's been some uh, poor weather, but what, what are you seeing from the guys? What are you looking forward to for tomorrow? Uh, training's been great. I think this week hit a new standard for the guys, you know, especially the ones that uh, aren't directly always involved with the first team environment. They, you know, it's, it, it's taken not a long time to get there, but it's taken a little bit, little baby steps. They've made you know great strides and everything, but I think uh, I think this week it kind of clicked a little bit more on uh, you know just details, some intangible stuff. But they've really raised the level, and I think this week really set a new standard for them. And it's been great going into today, and you know obviously carrying into the game, but got to keep that going forward in general. Yeah, and the uh, so the first team guys that have been training and playing also with the U20 team, what have you seen from them over the last? month and a half kind of after that break and have you seen them transition and um, you know continue their development I mean it, it's, uh, it's it's development in many ways obviously it's it's come in and you know show us again why you're training with the first team and, and keep doing you and so and then that raises the level of the younger guys to play with a quality player that's been training with the first team all year and everything and then it's good for them too now to be the voices you know and to, to advocate and and to lead in, in whatever way that might be whether it's a true leader and talking to guys left and right or showing by example and and uh you know uh embedding our uh, our pillars into them even more you know because that's what this is all about we want to tie it all together and it's nice for them to play a different role in that capacity uh, you know in this environment of being the leader and the guy the one that guys look up to and all that stuff yeah and so on the flip side we've not only seen first teamers playing in the u20 environment but we're starting to see more u20 guys blending in with the first team training with the first team during the weekdays what have you seen um from those guys who have come in over the last couple of weeks and started to train you know Tuesday through Friday with uh, with the pro team uh, it's it's been honestly it's been almost seamless to a degree it's, and that's exactly what you want is you want these guys to step in the environment yeah maybe a couple things you know they get into the rondo a few extra times than they want to you know and the guys kind of get after them a bit but then they go okay I need to I need to figure this out quick and I mean they, they just they just pick it up and then they go like all right okay this is the standard I, I you know I'll, I'll make the necessary adjustments but uh it's been great they they hop in a couple minor tweaks and really they've been you know seamless in their transition to the first team environment and hanging with the guys and learning and growing and that's that's what you want right there so previewing tomorrow's match against Salem City a team that the U20s have already played against earlier on back in June Earned a 1-0 result on the road, the first road result for the U-20s. Uh, Gabe Cox, first team of scoring in that game. What did you see from that team in that game? What is your expectations for tomorrow? I mean, they, they worked hard. Like, I mean, it was one of those, it's one of those things that, you know, you can't overlook is their, their work ethic was good. Whether it was a good ball or a bad ball they played or whatever they're doing, they, they worked hard and it, it uh, I don't think we respected them as much as we should have and it almost caught us by surprise a couple of times and it made our play a little sloppier than I would have liked. Granted, yes, we did have a you know a three hour drive. I don't like to make excuses because we could have been better than that, but credit to them. They made it difficult to play at times and you know it would have been nice to put another goal away, but then you know finally a uh, second half comes in, we made a couple adjustments and then uh, got, got the goal and maybe could add another another uh, couple goals in that half, but they, they worked hard and they're going to make the drive now. And I told the team when I when we drove down there, it's, as much as we're playing X's and O's and stuff we want to do, uh, it's also about playing for that trip back. No one likes a, a long bus ride, flight, whatever it is, first team, second team. You, you want to go home happy. U20s are back after kind of that month, month long break, uh, facing Salem City at City Stadium after previously playing them. Uh, on the road back in June, one nil result for the U20s. You know, how, from your perspective, how'd that game go back in June and what are you looking forward to tomorrow? Um, they, they were a team that played their brand really well. Um, very compact, sat back, direct. Uh, and it was difficult for us. It was a good challenge uh, for the boys. Something we haven't seen a lot, you know, a team that's very low in their block. We had to kind of break them down, figure it out. In the first half um, was that period of us figuring it out. The first 10 minutes of the second half, we came out really strong. Um, obviously scored a goal in like minute 52, 53. Um, and then from there, it was just kind of, you know, moving the ball around, speed of play, that kind of thing. But I would expect more of the same, you know, for them to be really direct. And we'll, we'll obviously have to deal with the ball in behind. Um, that was a focus that we worked on training today. And then in possession, you know, playing through the middle, being brave to, to take our chances and, and and keeping possession. But yeah, I mean, I think it'll be similar to the first game, but it'll definitely be good. And then um, training is something that the coaches have really talked about it, is the blending uh, for the U20s and for the first team. Um, you know, 
continuing to compete in that first team environment, making 18s, getting on the pitch with the first team, and then coming in and also having the opportunity to uh, play with the U20s and then see some of your U20 teammates even making it into first team training. What has, from your perspective, that environment been like? How do you feel like you as a player have grown? How do you feel like some of your teammates have grown? Um. I think it's a really great tool, the U20s, um, especially for, for us young guys who are, who are training every day with the first team. You know, we work really hard to get in the, in the 18 every week with the first team, but you know, obviously sometimes it doesn't happen like this week, and it's, it's awesome to be able to come down and still play a high-level game on the weekend when, when the team is away. And uh, it's really cool to see the boys that excel with the U20s day in and day out because I'm not there training every day. So to see them excel, and then different guys come up and train. Um, it really shows how close the pathway is between the first team and the U20. So it's, I honestly think it's a really cool, really cool thing. And then uh, tomorrow, getting to walk back out on, on City Stadium. You know, what, what excites you about getting back on the field and uh, facing Salem City for the, the uh, second match? Um, I'm just excited to, to play and have fun. You know, I love I love getting on the field every time. I love touching the ball. I love playing with my teammates. So to be able to, to go out, have fun, hopefully score another goal, and, and obviously we want to win. That's, that's all we want. And City Stadium, yeah, one of the best places to play in the country out of every team, MLS, any of that. I think the environment there, even in the last home game we had with the U20s, was unbelievable. So I think, I think it's really good. I'm, I'm really excited. Kickers U20 facing Salem City tomorrow uh, at City Stadium. Rematch of a match that uh, previously happened down in Salem City back in June. Kickers U20 had the 1-0 result. Um, what are you looking forward to for uh, tomorrow's matchup for the U20s? Um, looking forward to going out and playing um, Noah, Gabe, all, also in the kind of similar environment I'm in. Just looking forward to going out there and playing. You know, every minute I'm happy. You know, I just want to play, whether that's with the first team or the U20s. I just want to play and just excited and hopefully can bring another home win. And a lot of fans will probably be pretty familiar then uh, through social media seeing kind of that first home match that the Kickers U20 got to play at City Stadium uh, back in early June. You had scored a brace in that match um, for the Kickers U20 to win two to one. How do you feel like, you know, being in that first team environment, you know, week in and week out, and then coming and playing in that U20s match, how did you feel that game went for you, you know, and just how do you feel like you've grown as a player so far this season? Yeah, I feel like whenever you're in a first team environment and you come down to play with U20, the academy, you have a responsibility and you have a responsibility to play well and to lead the rest of the team. And um, I was happy I was able to do that with two goals and that should be the standard every game. Um, I think throughout my stint with kickers, I've grown as a player a lot and it's a priceless, it's a priceless time in my development and career that will set me up for the rest of my career. So, yeah. Yeah. And, um We've seen more and more blending inside the environment, um, obviously with the first teamers training and playing with U20s, but also some of the U20s being invited up to train with the first team kind of in that Tuesday through Friday block. How do you feel like you've seen uh, some of your teammates grow as they, you know, raise their level and go up into that, you know, professional environment? Yeah, obviously players I've played with since I was 12, 11 years old, very proud of Brendan and Jackson who recently got the opportunity to train. Both of them are doing amazing and holding their own in first team training. So it's just very excited to see my teammates follow and and then and doing so well. 